Hello there guys and welcome back to another epic NX rule maths video. In this video we're going to learn how to differentiate sec x and remember of course sec x is just 1 over cos x. We want to differentiate this guy. So let's dive straight into the video. Okay the first thing we want to do is rewrite what we're trying to do. So we're trying to differentiate sec x. Let's set y equal to sec x x like that and we want dy dx of course well as i have just mentioned sec x is nothing other than one divided by cos x which is the same thing as cos x to the power of minus one like that not to be confused with inverse cos which is written as cos to the power of minus one and then x this is just cos x to the actual power of minus one which is the reciprocal okay and then what we do is the chain rule. So I'll just rewrite this one more time. So y is equal to cos x to the power of minus one. You may use uh, the quotient rule if you want to as well. You could use the quotient rule with one and cos, but I think this is faster because one is just a number. So no need for the quotient rule. You can just have it as a power of minus one. I think that's faster. So first thing we do for the chain rule is we let u equal the inside function, which is cos x. We can then take du dx, which is going to be minus sine x. Okay. Here's the thing though. If y is cos x to the minus 1 and u is cos x, then y is just u to the minus 1 because cos x is u. And that means that dy du is minus u to the minus 2. Okay, and as always in classic chain rule fashion, we're going to multiply du dx and dy du together. The reason for this is because notice the du's cancel out and you end up with just getting dy dx, which is what we're looking for. Okay, so the way we multiply them together is we just, we literally just multiply these two guys together. So um, du dx is minus sine x. And dy du is minus u to the minus 2. The minuses cancel out. We end up with u sine or u to the minus 2 sine x. And of course, we can't leave the answer like this because um, u to the minus 2, we need to define, we need to rewrite u in terms of x. So, well, u in terms of x, that's actually quite nice because u is just cos x. So this becomes actually just cos x uh, to the minus 2 multiplied by sine x and that's dy dx. We can clean this up a little bit. So we get that dy dx is equal over here to 1 divided by cos squared x. That's just cos x to the minus 2 and then multiplied by sine x. We can keep simplifying. dy dx is just, well, we have a sine x here, and I'm going to put this all over cos squared, but I'm actually going to put it over just cos and then multiply it by 1 over cos. But I hope that we agree that these are the same things. Just give you a second to make sure that you're happy with that. Sine x over cos squared is just sine x over cos times 1 over cos. That means that dy dx because what's sine over cos? It's tan, it's tan x multiplied by sec x, okay? So dy dx, I like to write it the other way around, but obviously it doesn't matter. It's the derivative of sec x is actually just sec x tan x, and that's your answer. So the derivative of sec x is just sec x times tan x. You just get an extra tan x kind of coming out there. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.